In the US right now, there's between say 20 and 30 EVs for sale, but most of them are dominated by just a handful of different models. That is about to change. Every year there are a ton of new EVs coming out. Of course, I try to drive all of them and give you that experience and help you figure out which one is right for you. And here today, I have some of the most interesting, kind of the most unbelievable ones that you've probably never heard of. So let's start off this list of these new EVs coming out with the NEO ET5. NEO is a Chinese brand that followed up its ES6 SUV and ET7 saloon or sedan with a compact version of that called the ET5. That's what we're looking at here. This has a really similar profile and a really low drag coefficient of 0.24, and it boasts a range of about 621 miles, courtesy of a huge 150 kilowatt hour battery. And now despite its massive battery pack and its weight, it's still actually really quick. It has a 150 kilowatt asynchronous front motor and a 200 kilowatt permanent magnet rear motor, which combined give you 483 horsepower and 442 pound feet of torque. Meaning Meaning to go from zero to 60 or zero to 62, zero to 100 kilometers, it's just about 4.3 seconds. When it comes to the design of the ET5, I get a lot of Porsche Taycan vibes with that slope back, the big giant panel glass on top, and sort of the teardrop headlights on the side there. But to me, I think it looks really beautiful, kind of futuristic and clean. When you head interior, you have this big screen in the middle, then you have a little dashboard right behind the steering wheel, which I like, and then you have this little cute little guy called Nomi which apparently you can talk to and is how you can interact with your car. Neo has been around for a while and China's already delivering other cars. This one is coming soon and it looks like they're gonna expand to the EU and the UK soon with rumors of them coming to the US as well. If that were to happen, it's really hard to say what the price would be, but in the UK, it looks like it'll be around 38,000 pounds which would translate to the low 50,000s in US dollars. But again, there's import tariffs and all kinds of other things that may prevent that from happening. Overall, I think NEO is a really cool company doing really exciting things, including they just completed their 700th battery swap station install. So this isn't just like a brand new baby idea they're testing, like 700 of these exist. And so if they were to come over here in the US with that kind of technology, I think people would be blown away. And I am really hoping that if and when that happens, I will be able to share a first drive experience and much more knowledge and information with you here on the channel. Now, next, I have a really special company to cover here, uh, uh, one that I'm pretty sure you've never heard of, but is coming to the US in a very big way this year in 2022. And that brings up today's sponsor, VinFast. This is the VinFast VF8. And I was recently invited up to an event in LA they hosted where I got to sit in it, touch the materials, see what it's like firsthand in real life, and ask the people all kinds of questions about this vehicle and what it's gonna be and when it's coming here to the US. So the VF8 is a five passenger vehicle about the size of the Ford Edge, if you're familiar with that, sort of like a midsize SUV. And it's gonna be priced around $41,000 US and around 36,000 euros over in the EU. Now they're claiming that this can get about 402 horsepower and 472 pound feet of torque with the zero to 60 time around 5.5 seconds. Now the range on this is also said to be about 316 miles, but that's using the European estimates. And so the EPA range here in the US is probably gonna be a little bit lower, but still at $41,000 with say 270 to 300 miles of range, you're talking a great value for a vehicle. The thing that's interesting about VinFast is they are a Vietnamese automaker, the first one that's gonna be exporting its vehicles and bringing them to the EU and to the US. They already have a bunch of retail locations dialed up. In fact, I was at the mall recently and just saw one randomly. And then when they reached out, I was really excited to be able to work with them and see their vehicles in real life. So in talking with them, they said that they're gonna to try to open 60 stores here in the US and start deliveries of this vehicle this year in 2022. They already have manufacturing going on over in Vietnam. And because Vietnam is not China, the import duties on it are around two and a half percent right now. So it's not like if you're trying to import something from China where the import tariffs can be up to 25%. 
Now they have the VF8, as I mentioned, but they also have the VF9, which is a larger vehicle with a third row that can handle up to seven passengers. Now this one is the same powertrain, but a larger battery, and they're targeting about 422 miles of range. Now that's with the European test cycle, so let's call it 400. And this one will have an acceleration that's a bit slower at 6.5 seconds, for a seven seat full size SUV. And the price is still going to be one of the best out there with around $56,000 in the US and just under 50,000 euros over in the EU. And VinFest also has other models that they're expecting to unveil this year in 2022. The VF5, 6, and 7 are all other segments, imagine, you know, smaller to larger. And they are really coming in strong. It's, it's a really interesting company that I'm just happy to be partnering with to help showcase what they're doing because seeing it firsthand really made me impressed with what they've done already. And you can actually reserve one of these today with a $200 refundable deposit that later will get you a $3,000 or $5,000 voucher towards a VF8 or a VF9. As I mentioned, they're trying to start delivering these this year, so this is a great option if you're looking to get into an EV. Head over to bensollins.com slash vinfast to learn more and reserve yours today. Next, we have a company that's making a really cool looking EV that is more entertainment focused than car focused, which is an interesting play. And they're based here in Southern California where I'm at. This is the Indy One. The One, as they call it, has a 95 kilowatt hour battery pack. And the company says that that's good for about 275 miles of range or 442 kilometers. I couldn't find exactly how much power it makes, but they claim that it can go from zero to 60 in about 5.5 seconds. They're targeting $45,000 for the MSRP here, which means that, you know, the idea is that it's gonna be very capable and more of a economical vehicle than a performance one or anything like that. This is roughly the price of a Tesla Model 3 in today's dollars. Now the first edition that they're going to deliver will also include things like air suspension and 22 inch wheels. The interesting thing about the One is their vehicle integrated computer, which they say is a supercomputer that can not only play games, but thanks to an array of exterior and interior cameras, it can capture footage from your travels or even automatically live stream content. Yes, this is an influencer car. Yes. The vehicle will also feature what Indy calls the Life Assistant or a virtual assistant with a suite of safety features called Halo ADOS that display warnings to the driver on the steering wheel. And stay tuned if you're interested in that because I may be able to get a preview of this vehicle before it's actually available in showrooms. And if so, I'll you know post that here. So stay tuned and subscribe for that. Sticking with the SoCal companies, we have one that is very close to me, just down the street to be as a matter of fact, and this is Aptera. Now the Aptera is easily the most futuristic looking vehicle I could even imagine. And one of the cool features that they tout is this never charge technology. They say that can give you about 40 miles of range per day just by sitting out in the sun and collecting energy. And the way that works is that they have been able to install enough kind of built-in solar around the vehicle to give it 700 watts of solar power. And that's a lot, especially when you're talking about automotive made solar. And when you look at this, it really just looks wild. To me, it looks more like an airplane than a car. And apparently, because of that, it's a lot lighter, like 65% lighter than other EVs out there today. And it's made with these ultra lightweight composites that really help it just be incredibly efficient on the road. And Aptera does lead the pack in terms of the least rolling resistance, which is the friction that comes from the wheels against the ground. Now, part of that is because they have a three wheel design instead of four, which eliminates an additional touch point where energy can be lost. The Aptera does appear to be a functional vehicle with 25 cubic of rear storage, but not something like a big SUV that you typically see here. And the Aptera is all wheel drive with vectorized torque control for snow, ice, sand, and gravel. We'll have to test that personally in order to see that, but exciting stuff. And Aptera is claiming just some of the most wild stuff. Uh, this is so exciting. I mean, a thousand miles range and a price tag around $25,000 to start. I mean, it's absurd if this is a thing, but if it is, I will be really excited for what this means for our transition to a more sustainable future. And again, I might be able to get a preview of this soon, so stay tuned here on the channel if you wanna see more about the Aptera. And the last vehicle I wanted to add to this list comes to us from China from the company Xiaopang, 
or at least I, I think it's a Xpeng, Xiaopeng. Let me know in the comments, I'm, I'm American and forgive me. And this is the Xiaopeng P5. Now this thing is kind of amazing. Now, first off, it's already available. People already have it in China. You can go see reviews of it from people over there like the guys at Fully Charged did one. But the thing that really caught my attention with this car was the design of it and how crazy some of the tech is. Let me just read you a bit here about their uh, ADOS system, the Advanced Driver Assist, you know, kind of like your autopilot full self-driving thing. The P5 has two double prism LiDAR units, which integrate with 12 ultrasonic radars, five millimeter wave radars, 13 high definition cameras, and a high precision positioning unit to allow a 360 degree visual and LiDAR fusion perception of the road around it. This is all powered by their X-Pilot 3.5, the latest and most advanced version of Xiaoping's uh, advanced driver assist system, which enables their NGP, the navigation guided pilot system to city driving. Now the city NGP will allow for this high precision navigation and assisted driving inside of China's challenging city road conditions. And honestly, I have to see this to believe it. I mean, their claims are wild, but the tech in here is undeniable what they've been able to pack into the size of this vehicle. Now, the thing about this car is that it is going to be imported from China. And currently there is a massive tax on that. And who knows how that's going to change. But the last I could find here is that they're trying to get this into the US about Q3 of 2023. And the price would be somewhere around $25,000. Now, the range on it is pretty good too, but the range is again from the NEDC rating, which is just very different than how we rate things here in the US with the EPA. So the NEDC rating is 373 miles or about 600 kilometers. And with that, it even if it's 20, 30% lower than that, you're still for 25 grand going to be getting an amazing value. But the import taxes is a thing. So we'll see and watch more closely as Xiaoping and other automakers from China look to, you know, import their cars here in the US. It is it is sort of a protected industry in the US, if that makes sense. There have always been duties and imports and stuff like that. That's why, you know, BMW, a German company has like a giant factory here in the US, those kind of things. They try to avoid that. But what they've been able to do in China and the Chinese EV auto market in general is just amazing. So if and when those kind of barriers come down, I think we're going to see a massive influx of EVs coming from China that are just wild and different and awesome and hopefully get people excited about going electric. So there's a lot of EVs coming and it's an exciting time to be a part of this. If you're with me, stay tuned for more here on the channel or join my email list over at bensolens.com join where I'll send you every new video. That way you don't have to depend on the algorithm to decide which, which video you want. We can just kind of do it directly there. So that's it for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments as always. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next time.